Yo come. Arre. Okay, so it is Monday and I'm going to pack up some orders. We have been to rehab, me and Albert. He went really well. He had fun. He really enjoys it, so good for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think, I mean, he's making really good progress. Uh, he had a little bit of a setback last week. He wasn't really moving the way he should, but I mean I think it was mostly that He uh, like had maybe pull a muscle or something, you know, because it's very slippy out or very, It was very icy So but other than that he's doing well and then after that we actually had uh, we made lunch um, together my grandmother and I so it was really nice just seeing how she was doing and we made uh, salmon and potatoes so that was very nice um, to just you know spend some time together um, I mean she really shouldn't invite me because you know but she, she is a nurse, she knows what she's doing, and I just miss her, so. So we had a really nice lunch together with the dogs, and uh, yeah, well, I say we had a nice lunch. Uh, my grandmother and I had a really nice lunch. Albert was like hyper after, he gets, you know, he goes on the, on the treadmill with water, and then he gets the laser, and when he's get that laser, he, he gets really good in the body like he gets really like soft and mobile and everything so my grandmother is a dog Stina she was not happy at all she was just really annoyed and she was like what have you brought here so, but yeah we had fun <laughs> so yeah so let's make a batch of paint um if you can hear the dogs barking that's because they always bark. Now it's actually the neighbors. They just walk past and they have they have a dog that they don't like. So yeah, and that that is Elsa. She is the worst one. So um, let's just make like an easy, straight to the point paint um, because I'm pretty tired. But I do want to make at least one. And it's still cold! And I was packaging orders and I was like, why isn't it getting warmer? Well, turns out the dog I have, you know, Albert, the poodle, we trimmed him yesterday. Gosh. I hate. I don't hate. I just severely dislike Elsa right now. So yesterday, my mom and I, we trimmed him very, very short. So now you can't see anywhere that he is any signs of the surgery or anything he's just completely fresh um but yeah so we decided to cut him very very short and i had hoped to go like on dog shows but they still haven't like gotten up or you know and i don't know when that will start again starting up again and because we're going to this water uh treading every week it means it just it takes a long time for him to dry with that curly fur so i just decided to cut him as short as possible he will dry much quicker be less cold it would just be easier to manage and he looks really cute so yeah that's that's the the thinking behind the way he looks right now he is in the sofa in the studio he got a duck bone he's happy um yep and uh, we're going to make some paint. We are going to make...
uh, main day uh, over the weekend and you know it's a, it's a four leaf clover I think you can, you can see that but I just wanted to add a little bit of color pencil to it I used the oh gosh my hands are just not just not you know I used the lost and found paints I have it in this little old you know I thought that was fitting um but yeah so I used a mix of um of Helge and Hilda and also of Ulle. So okay, but I want to add in a little bit of brightness and also a little bit of um detail. So I have my polychromos here. I love my polychromos and I think the biggest selection of colours is definitely oh you can see, sorry. Is definitely the green ones because I love the green ones. I have rebought a few of them because I use them. So <laughs> uh, I would say that this uh, May Green is my favorite shotter. So I just want to add in a little bit of uh, a little bit of brightness and detail into the leaf, and I really like to do that with color pencil because you get a little bit of different texture. And this is actually, let's see, it's arch, arch paper. If you hold it up to your light, you can see the watermark. There is actually, oh, you can actually see it here too. There. It's a watermark, so you can tell what, what side you should have up and down. It sounds like Dagmar wants to get in. But I can't let her in because I'm here and she knows I am here. So... Let's just do that. I really want to, at the same time, add this texture, but I want to have a very loose watercolor underneath. So I'm not wanting to go in too much and like make it a pencil drawing. I just, I just really enjoy having the two mediums coming together, and I want to add a little bit of a highlight here. And I really enjoy watching other people or other creatives how they mix different mediums and I just feel like watercolor and pencil makes a really fun combination and there are so many here on YouTube that they're so they're so brilliant artists and they mix these kind of stuff so like without effort they just feel it looks like they they know exactly what to do when to do it and how to do it and <laughs> I want to try something and I'll show you. you know what we are talking about being a bit braver so let's just try I want to go in with with just yellow and adding in yellow over these really pale pieces so let's just this palette is handmade by Caitlin I will have that linked below because I I bought these because Claire, um, she um, she showed this on Instagram, and I uh, I was like, okay, now I also have to have them. <laughs> um, but it's just really fun to. It's really good quality stuff. So. And it's nice to have stuff by other artists and especially ju I mean just look at it I mean it's an artwork in of itself so okay, just a little bit like that yeah I wanted to have a little bit of color shift and I have to say now that I've been painting so much on Fabriano paper I can definitely tell a difference and I never thought I was going to say it but you hear it here first or I might have said somewhere else. Um, I, I actually prefer the Fabriano paper over the arch paper. I know. Shocking. <laughs> I uh, started painting that four leaf clover. And I was really happy with it because I wanted to make it into a sticker. And well, I just did, okay? <laughs> and then I was like, well, I could do like... Um, another one that is like um you know liquid luck 
potion you know I've done potions before and um, so I did that and then I was like I can do tons of different luck symbols so here is <laughs> it just it just happened I was meant to do one of the other you know the drawing animals but I did these instead and I did draw a ladybug well one and a half so really I have done an animal today <laughs> so I have done a four leaf clover and then this one that is more like the liquid luck or felix felicis or you know and then of course a horseshoe um and then I wanted to draw a ladybug but I started one I didn't like it so I drew another one and then I made these so this is a coin you know you pick up a coin what is it like pick up a penny all day long you get good luck or something I don't know but uh, yeah so I made a little a uh, little queen there uh, I thought that we in Sweden will soon have a queen so that would be fitting and then this one is it it's a rune but it doesn't mean like good luck but it's like you know it's uh, a symbol for it, it's as close as luck as we have today so The other thing, should I be doing these kind of things I haven't planned on? No, I shouldn't. But I really want to do um, like a vinyl sticker sheet. I have a few that is, so like this from Mary Sanch, that is vinyl. And it's just like, I do some vinyl stickers, you know, like, and I have done a vinyl stickers a sticker sheet before but the colors were way off so it never became like a proper um it, a proper product but i thought this could be really fun so i've painted these using the lost and found colors and then i've just gone over with a bit of color pencils to get that texture but i thought it could be really fun to make oh it's it's food <laughs> um yep <laughs> my phone doesn't work so she is screaming at me um but i thought that could be really fun to make like a sticker sheet a vinyl sticker sheet with like luck symbols because um i i need all the luck that i can get and at the same time i am a firm believer in that we make our own luck but maybe these can help so let's 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 do that but well tomorrow because um, it is food now and I still live at home and my mom gets gets annoyed with me when I don't get in on time. Yeah, yeah, I just turned 27. Yeah, we... So with those stickers and icons being ready, I thought it would be really fun to make a vinyl sticker sheet. And I thought, what would be even more fun? Well, that would be to, to do it together, you know? So let's do it together. <laughs> and I thought I could share a little bit of my process cleaning up this kind of file and making it into a sticker file. And hopefully if you are interested in doing this, hopefully it can help. So. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a layer on the file or a mask sorry a mask and if I'm using the wrong terms I'm very sorry the, the Photoshop I have is in Swedish I learned photo Photoshop in English and I have spent a lot of time trying to le relearn to Swedish because I got the Swedish version in school uh, and now I'm going to explain it in English so I'm very sorry but putting on a mask so I can remove the background and for this instant, I started with the magic wand to sort of save all of the 
elements and when you're working on the laptop or something where you have you know with a mouse or something that's very good to start off with a magic wand tool because you can go in with a bigger brush size and easily get rid of the the background very very quickly if you have like a drawing pad or a stylus or something like that you almost save more time just going in with a brush straight away but you know it's a preference and we all have our uh, our methods and our routines working this uh, I am still trying to learn and find my routine to do this something that I have found very helpful and a very nice routine to have is adding a dark background layer so I can see if there's something showing up and then also adding uh, a layer of a line around the stuff so you get the a line that is solid around the stuff but also these little dots where there are loose pixels and that makes it a lot easier to remove them and almost make sure that you get all of them off. So that's what I'm going to start by doing, cleaning up the file. Once the file is all clean, I save it as a, a PSD just to keep it safe. I have learned that, save it. We're now going to save all of them as individual PNG because that's the way I like it. And what I do is I crop it around it, then remove all of the image stuff that is around that I don't want to keep. And then I just un uh, un I <laughs> what do you call it? So you don't see the line or the background. And that's a very quick and easy way to save it. I think you can do it in a quicker way, but you know with Photoshop, everything you can do like in five different ways. So that's how I do it. Now I have all of them as uh, PNG which means I can easily use them for other things but I can also go in very easily and add a line around them if I want to make it into a sticker later and use that as a cut line. Lunch break is over and we will continue on with the stickers. Now we're going to make the actual sticker sheet and this is different from how I do it when I make stickers myself, but um, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to make this uh, uh, 10 by 15 centimeters or four by six inches uh, sticker sheet. And what I want to do here is I want to have a feeling that is very close to the Lost and Found collection that I've been working on where we have more of a, a vintage feeling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this scanned photo. It's, uh, it's actually the back of a photo. When I scanned in a lot of the vintage photos that I have, I also scanned in a lot of the back side of them because they look so nice and have so much texture. And I can use that for, for example, this to keep it on, on the background. And just to add in a little bit more fun or having a little bit more texture to this backside, um, I want to add in a little bit more, brightening it up a little bit. And in order to do that, I decided to go in with a watercolor brush to give a little bit, not just a solid line. And I'm going to do that in white and then I'm going to make the opacity lighter so we get a little bit of translucentness in this and this will just give the um, have a fun element of the background have a little bit of a pattern but still have interest but not taking over from the actual images so when the background is all done i'm going to start by bringing in all of the elements that i have cleaned up and we are just going to place them and this is where like the puzzle working strategy comes into play and it can be a bit tricky and it's also um, a way of trying to create a nice looking image as as an image but also remember that these are stickers you want them as big as possible you might want to have a lot of them on there so yeah um, so same thing here, save often. I mean, it's better to save too much than too little. So you can go in and tweak different things. Also, what I wanted here is, apart from just the elements, I wanted to have a few, I brought in these little labels that I've painted for the Lost and Found where I made a separate sticker sheet with just those. But here, what I really like about them is, 
I can go in, add verbs, and then add, so for one I will like write lika till, which is Swedish for like good luck and, and that. So that is an example for an element that I have cleaned up that is easy. I can just pull it in here and it's all ready to go. So when you do all of this work, cleaning up the images, saving them one by one and all of that, you have them and you can use them for over and over depending on how you want to use them. So you, you do save a lot of time in doing this stuff, you know, how to say it, like properly from the beginning. Um, but yeah, I definitely get it sometimes. It's just like, you, you can't be bothered. Um, but I do feel like it is worth having that. And especially now when I'm working on this Lost and Found collection, where there is so many elements and everything, but I found it's very easy. I can easily pull in stuff from the different, um, different, um, what should we call it? Collection, mini collections or something. So here I'm working, trying to figure out how the colors, I mean, that's a bit of tweaking, but how I'm going to place the elements to make them look the best. And in the end, I decide to bring in another element that I've painted, and that's a key. And that's also like something I have painted, done, but here I could just, <coughs> sorry about Albert. I could just very quickly grab that in and that solved my problems here. So yeah, but in the end I'm very happy with the final outcome of the of the sticker sheet. I will show you an image and it is sent away. Hopefully it will get printed and in next vlog we can we can see how it turned out. I'm very excited um for this. I haven't made like a vinyl sticker sheet that turned out properly in a in ever I was going to say I made one vinyl sticker sheet and that didn't turn out great. So I'm very very hopeful and I hope you will like it. And I feel like it's very fun we have made it together. So yeah, and uh like I said, I I believe in making your own luck, but I I definitely need all the luck that I can have and if 2020 is anything that I've learned is that Luck is real. If you didn't know that whining noise in the background, Albert, um, he was hit by a car in, in November of 2020 and he survived. Obviously he is here and he can walk, uh, which is just a miracle. So yeah, if this can bring you a little bit of bad luck from him, then I would be very happy. So anyway, here is the final product or the final file. I am super happy with it. I really love it and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So it's after lunch and I've got some stuff in, in town and I thought I would share with you because I hardly ever do a haul. I got a hand towel, towel, so I also got two to like a dish towels, another uh, this. I got a whiteboard that I'm planning to put up. But what I want to do with this is, I mean, obviously you can write on it because it's a whiteboard, but what, I, but what I want to do with it is I want to have one paint out of each of the pigment, just the pigment, is to have them in pans with magnets on the back and then just stick them on, um, like this. That's my idea, anyway. So, and it says that it's magnetic, so. And then the other thing I got, I have a few plants and they have been doing really well and then just suddenly they died. I don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, so I got one new um, ivy because I really like it when it's like, you know, this. And then I got, I don't know what the, the name of this one is, but it's I thought it was nice, a little bit of a bushy, and I don't know if you can see, but the leaf underneath is very sort of purpley color, and you know, I like purple, so I thought it was nice. And then I just got four of these, um, they had them for like a euro each, it's not euro, it's Swedish crown, but you know, it's equivalent to a euro. So, and I'm always running out of these little baskets, especially when I'm prepping for a new shop update to keep the paint separate. And my brother is coming into the studio. Arvid? 
Ah, he threw me off. I was like, I want to make a paint, and I think we're going to. There's, it's not much left of uh, Glimra, but I think let's just make what pigment I have, and um, because I had already done a big batch of that, so I just need to top a few of them off. Um, and I saw on Lucia that we did yesterday, there are bubbles. The stickers have been sent off, thankfully, finally. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. Better? Yes. to tackle is all the recycling uh, because this door is generally open here you know so when it's open ta -da, you don't see it <laughs> so Albert could do better yeah. Um, but yeah we need to deal with that so I want to package them all up so we can take it away um, so we have something I like to keep one box they just like easy paper throw away when you know packaging orders and that so I think I will just empty that for now but to keep the box here you come here here you come okay there we have another box and here I <laughs> I nick this from the grocery store to carry stuff in <laughs> I don't think they mind uh, it is kind of good actually to keep stuff in you know what, let's let's keep that one. Um, but let's just get rid of this. Ta -da! Okay. Take your time. Yes. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh I can't wait. I can't wait for the stickers to come here and I will show them of course as soon as they get here. And if they turn out well, I am a little bit nervous because the last time I ordered vinyl stickers, uh, sticker sheet, the colors did not look good. But if they look good, obviously they will be in the Lost and Found um, update, so March 5th. Also, I don't think I have actually like mentioned it, but before the shop update was always the first of every month, but uh, from this year there will be the first Friday of every month uh, so next update will be February the 5th and then March the 5th and then I don't know what 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 it is in April I'm not that ahead yet sorry <laughs> but yeah so I hope you have enjoyed this vlog I know it's a little bit different but I'm really trying to put out more content uh, or more like value content that is fun and I really hope you enjoyed the process of making the sticker sheet. I'm really trying to explain how I'm doing it. Um, it's not that complicated and I'm sure there is a ton of other um, much better tutorials for how to do it but I just thought I was going to share how I do it. It works very well for me. I'm also sorry for all the dog noises but that's the way it is. So Thank you so much. I hope. Thank you so much. I hope to see you next week. I'm going to cut off before he marks again. Bye!